Welcome to the final video and the end is in sight. The light at the end of the tunnel. There's not much to say about the second part of filming. All I can do is now just graft it and get it done so we can move on to editing and then have the final video ready in time. So, let's get going! Up, so you have a scene and then I set up my camera in the position I want. Then I use a method called camera tethering in Lightroom Classic and it saves it straight into a folder you choose. You can preview how it looks. You don't have to touch your camera to take the photo. You can adjust the settings on camera. And here you can just see different angles that I use in the same method right there and how beautiful the shots came out. Then another thing I had to keep changing is the eyes, the mouth and the eyebrows and just add some movement by adjusting the hair and the costume. So there was a method I used, I re referenced real life movement, how long it takes for a person to blink and compared it to my frame rate and then I knew exactly in what frame she has to blink, what frame can I change the mouth etc. to say here yeah, all you can do is just work hard and get it done let's go With editing a film like this, there's never a definite list of things that you did or had to do. It changes, happy accidents happen. But there are a few main things I had to do. First being putting all the images into a video with the correct frame rate. I used Dodo Shifter for that. Then there's green screen replacement and then tons of effects including the light portal that I had to make and putting lights onto the face to sell that effect of the portal and many many different more ones. Then there's also different masks that I had to use and small details that took me so long but it all came together in the end. Then for the audio part I thought about it for long and I wanted to add a little bit more originality to it but not take away from the meaning and the very recognizable sound so instead of doing foley and taking away that recognizable sounds in the voices like the grandfather clock and Vecna's voice which is really hard to replicate I decided to record the song myself and added a little bit more of myself into the film <laughs> long time you're working so many hours on it so much hours on the puppet then onto the set then we had to film everything and we had to reshoot several times but it's finally come to the editing and we are done with it now all i can do is come back next week to watch the final film with me dear billy and then after that it's not over we will then reflect and you might think why would i want to watch this reflection just stick with me and you could possibly learn so much
or even different projects if you wouldn't want to do a stop motion animation. I've worked with so many materials and I'll reflect on this whole experience and you could take something away from it or you could just watch me reflect and take apart my set. Finally, it's not gonna take up my whole house anymore. But yeah, it's been a long way coming and I'm so glad we are at the end of it. See you next vlog for the final video.